So 50 from there, quick connect, from the quick connect, it goes to my motor and that motor goes to this belt, which spins this sharp thing. The one horsepower motor worked, but it had a big problem. It did not have enough torque to shred thin polypropylene plastic like this, which should be easy. I would have to start, stop, reverse the shredder, change the speeds, and abuse my VFD and motor. So I added an option to make this plastic shredder so that now electricity will not be required. So why shred plastic in the first place? Well, cutting by hand takes too long and my hands get fatigued fast using these tin snips to cut plastic small enough to melt efficiently. A lot of heat and time would be required to melt down plastic left in the form of how I find them. And energy and time are both things I'm working on reducing. To make my shredder wireless, I decided to make a man-powered crank to turn the shredder. So using a spare pulley, I added through bolts with those holes I drilled to mount a piece of plywood to it. And uh, please note a little lesson here is I could have avoided all that wood and extra wood screws by simply adding a through bolt through the channel to the pulley. Unfortunately, I only noticed that while editing this video. So I'm adding as much wood screws as I possibly can through the rough middle of this uh, channel so that I can put a piece of all thread to drive this hand crank. And now for some quick testing. So from turning the pulley, the first thing I noticed is I need to add a cover to the channel this outfeed box is in the way and my hinge is just too weak. So to cover this steel channel, I guess it helps that it's wood because it's easier to add scrap pieces of plywood to add a cover. But there's also other ways to uh, add a cover if I was directly steel to steel. And um, I am able to help reinforce the channel a little bit by adding longer wood screws into the plywood that's connected to the pulley. So maybe this is helpful. I made this uh, quick little small outfeed box just using an old cabinet. Um, I think this is an old drawer box I got from the streets of San Diego. Anyways, I, I basically used scraps and added uh, little scraps to put this box together. So this thing is held together with mostly uh, super glue or cyanoacrylate. Uh, I don't know, I can't ever say that. Um, but it's held together with super glue. I think it's good enough. I roughly sketched the hinge on a scrap piece of plywood and cut it on the bandsaw. And uh, this exterior hinge is simple to fabricate, was inspired by Katie Hudnall. I hope I'm saying that right. But she makes other inspiring things. And I like to test out these types of hinges and latches or features um, on these types of projects. It also allow, allows me to add just a little bit of flair to my plastic shredder, which I hope will motivate me to want to use it. The wireless plastic shredder is great. It does not need electricity, no wires to get in the way. I can throw this cart in my truck and shred plastic anywhere. I also get this intense ab workout turning this lever. It took me about four hours over two days to shred 40 to 50 bottles of HTPE or roughly about six pounds of plastic. 
it would take me twice as long to shred this thicker HDE, HDPE plastic with my motor. And the workout is great. You can get into this zone of concentration or flow state. And at about one and a half hours into my workout, in deep flow, I realized I want to buy a warm gear reducer and a different motor. Um, just kidding, but if I want to scale up to recycle more plastic, I'll need to upgrade my motor and get that transmission looking thing. At the current rate of production that I'm at, and with my non-existent amount of products, uh, this is how I'll be shredding plastic until I make something that enough people want. And if you'd like to see what I've been working on, please check out my previous videos and like and subscribe as I'll be going on an adventure of trying to make more stuff out of recycled plastic. Uh, if you have any ideas, let me know. Uh, leave a comment and uh, find me on other social medias. I'm on Twitter and Instagram.